Hey everybody, welcome back into another episode of American Rod Shop. My name is Solon, and in tonight's episode, I'm going to present for you guys and gals out there my top 10 favorite picks for 2023. Now, these cars have already sold for that won't be up for sale tonight, but we're going to review them. And that's going to be a lot of fun. Plus, we're going to do some giveaways and a couple other trivia questions. Also, at the end of this video, be sure to stay tuned because I got some big announcements for 2024. You're not going to want to miss that. This channel is going to blow up in 2024. Find out what that's about. Stick to the end of the video and let's start looking at number one. Now, each car showcased in tonight's video will have the original narration that was presented for it in the original video. Now, this first one up was one of my favorite cars to showcase in 2023, mainly because I was a big fan of the show, just as I'm sure many of you out there were as well. First one is a 1966 Batmobile replica listed in Bixby, Oklahoma for $150,000. Now it says this car is built on a C4 chassis and equipped with a Corvette LS 5.3 engine. This car had a new engine installed four years ago and has only been driven 2,000 miles since then. This vehicle underwent a complete paint job five years ago and is loaded with bat gadgetry, including a working flamethrower. Constructed by Gotham Garage, the popular Netflix series, this Batmobile has been driven cross-country on numerous occasions, including trips from Atlanta to Los Angeles, Atlanta to Milwaukee, and Atlanta to Indianapolis. It is a real joy to drive and comes with signatures from Adam West and Burt Ward, who played Batman and Robin in the 1966 Batman series. Only a few of these cars have been signed by them. This Batmobile is currently listed for $150,000, or we can consider best offer for this Batmobile. Be sure to check out our other great videos that have been posted. There are still a lot of great cars in those videos that are up for sale. And who knows, you just might find one of your dream cars in those videos. Moving on with number two, the next car I chose it to showcase it in one of the videos for sale was because it was just absolutely stunning and a little bit rare as well. This is a 1940 Packard Coupe listed in Atlanta, Georgia for $26,500. This is a restored 1940 Packard Coupe that is in excellent condition and is a classic automobile that holds a significant place in automotive history. Known for its elegant design and luxurious features, this car exemplifies the craftsmanship and attention to detail of its era. With its sleek lines, deep gloss red paint, white walls, chrome accents, and spacious interior, this 1940 Packard Coupe exudes a timeless charm that continues to captivate enthusiasts and collectors alike. Equipped with a powerful original six-cylinder engine and three-speed transmission, this was an advanced technology for its time. This car runs and drives great and offers a smooth and comfortable driving experience. This 1940 Packard remains an iconic symbol of automotive excellence and a testament to the ingenuity of the era. $26,500 or best offer for this 1940 Packard Coupe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget, if you subscribe, you'll be eligible to win all the thousands of dollars worth of prizes that we've got set up to be given away in 2024. Plus, turn on that notification bell because you want to be the first to get notified when these videos drop so that you can be the first one to check out the cars before they get gone in these ads that are for sale. I chose to showcase the next car in one of my videos for sale because it just reminded me so much of a car that you would see in maybe a 1960s hot rod magazine. Just a beautiful coupe, and it was up for sale in one of my videos. 1936 Chevrolet Master Deluxe Coupe, 
listed in Dunedin, Florida for $16,999. And that's only been driven 9,000 miles since it was started built. Has automatic transmission. The exterior color is black and the interior color is gray. Seller's description says this. This coupe runs and drives anywhere. Has a 1936 Chevy all-steel body. The engine's been bored .040 over. And it's a 350 Chevy engine attached to a rebuilt 700R automatic transmission. It has a 9-inch forward rear axle with coilover suspension. Has rack and pinion steering. Has four-wheel disc brakes. The radio works. And it has tilt steering column. But the air conditioner needs to be finished on out. Has bucket seats with a clean Florida title. Serious inquiries only, $16,999 or best offer for this nice little Chevy Coupe. Now for our first trivia question tonight, I need you to pay very careful attention to this picture for question number one. What American car company tried very hard to introduce the square steering wheel from 1960 to 1964? If you know the answer, drop it in the comments for fun. We'll check the answers at the end of the video and find out who got what right. Number four, and the next car up for review. And I can remember when I found this car for sale on the internet. I had to showcase it in one of my videos because it was absolutely gorgeous 1952 chevrolet 3100 panel truck listed in titusville florida for thirty three thousand five hundred dollars that's only been driven 600 miles since it was built has automatic transmission the exterior color is orange and the interior color is black seller's description says this chopped and frenched 52 chevy panel truck 3100 model has a new crate 350 motor made in the usa with a 350 transmission. Has Borla stainless exhaust with headers. Just about everything new has been finished out, topped off with a fresh poppy red paint job. Has a super straight body. Has a reconditioned undercarriage. Has new instruments, new wiring, and new AC. Has the I Did It tilt steering column. New glass, new floor shift, new brakes and lines, new shocks, etc. Interior, high-end quality, complete lizard skin seating, hand-stitched. Alpine stereo CD and GPS in dash. Drives very sweet, has good power and handling with a nice rumble. A unique and special Chevy panel truck, $33,500 a best offer. And guys, this thing is really beautiful. I like it a lot. Now here's another picture you'll need to pay attention to for the next trivia question. This is a picture of Grandma way back when she got her first brand new car. Now, looking at the picture, can you guess what type of car this is? If you know the year, make, and model, drop it in the comments for fun. We're going to check and see what everybody guessed. Showcasing my favorite pick number five is this next car which when I found it up for sale, I knew I had to list it in one of my videos for sale. These cars are always fan favorites, and this car got a lot of viewer likes. I think you'll like it too. This is a 1949 Willis Jeepster Phaeton Deluxe, listed in Irving, California, for $29,500. That says this antique vehicle was listed for sale just only five weeks ago and it comes with a clean title. Recently fully restored, it has only been driven for 47,000 miles since the restoration. The exterior is painted in a classic blue paint while the interior has been restored to its original style with black vinyl seats. The engine and manual transmission were restored to original specifications and the body of this car is free of rust and in excellent condition. This 1949 Willis Jeepster Phaeton Deluxe runs and drives like a new vehicle and is a superb example of a restored classic car. $29,500 or best offer.
I want to thank each and every one of you that purchased something from me in 2023. The sale from those items goes back in to support this channel. And if you haven't done so yet, go over and check out the American Rod Shop store. You can find the link over in this video's description. And there in the store, you can find t-shirts, coffee mugs, posters, mouse pads, and other great items, which makes a great gift for any one of your friends and family that loves American Rod Shop videos. Now, if you haven't watched the last video that we dropped, which was the Christmas giveaways video, there are several items in that video that we'll be drawing for in the very first video that we'll be dropping in 2024, which will be just a few short days. And we'll draw for those items in that video. So you still got time to go back, watch the video, enter as many times as you'd like for these items, and we'll draw for them in the first video of 2024. Let's give away an item for tonight's video. This is the little Hot Wheels 55 Nomad. It's even got the word Nomad written on the side of it. This is the uh, second one that I found. I'm going to give it away tonight. We gave away one in a video or two ago. It got a lot of likes and was well received by everybody that really liked this little car. In order to win this car, though, you have to be a subscriber. So there's two things you need to do. First, subscribe if you're not already subscribed then drop the word nomad in the comments. Subscribe and drop the word nomad in the comments. You'll be entered in to win this 55 Chevy Nomad Hot Wheels. And we will draw for it in our second video that we'll be dropping in 2024, which will be just a few days as well. Okay, let's take a look at my number six favorite pick of the cars I showcased in 2023 videos. This one was recommended to try and find by a viewer, and it is a very rare one. I haven't found another one for sale yet that's in running condition, but when I do, I'll showcase it in some future videos. This is a 1961 Chevrolet Corvair 300 wagon, listed in Riverside, California for $14,000. Up for sale is this very rare red 1961 Chevrolet Corvair wagon that runs and drives like a new one. It has had a new 1963 engine and a four-speed manual transmission installed by California Corvairs that has just 50,000 miles on it. This wagon has a rust-free body that is super straight, almost like it just rode off the showroom floor. This car has been restored from top to bottom, which includes new glossy red paint along with a custom black interior. Classic wheels and great body chrome will really round out this classic look. This is a very cool car and fun to drive, and it sounds and feels like an old air-cooled Porsche. This car has a clean title, and the seller is asking $14,000 or best offer, and any interesting trades will be considered for this 1961 Chevrolet Corvair 300 wagon. Okay, let's stop right here and give away one more item. This is a Hot Wheels Gasser. It's a 55 Chevy called the Tri-5 Terra. It's beautiful. It's blue. It's got this all chrome engine in it. Uh, tinted windows. Just a sharp little Hot Wheel. First one of these I've ever found. But let's go ahead and give it away. And what you got to do to enter in to win, you need to be a subscriber. So first, go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Put the word Gasser. Drop it in the comments. Subscribe and drop the word gasser in the comments and you'll be entered in to win this Hot Wheels, which we will draw for in the second video of 2024. So turn on those notifications. The number seventh car for my favorite pick from my 2023 videos is a muscle car that I think you all will like. This car actually sold very quickly after the video was posted and you'll see why for the amount of car you're getting plus the price. 1974 Ford Maverick listed in Billerica, Massachusetts for $9,500. Now guys, when this video went to be posted, this car had popped up on my phone that it had a pending sale on it. So it may not still be available, but it was just such an awesome car for the price. I had to go ahead and list it. Now it says this car's mileage is unlisted. 
has automatic transmission, the exterior color is red, and the interior color is black, and it has a clean title. Seller's description says this 1974 Ford Maverick with the V8 with the 385 horsepower, an automatic transmission. A lot of money has been spent. Need to sell 9,500 or best offer. This car has been very well maintained for its age, and it's a really nice muscle car. Hands down, guys, I got to give this one my best deal seal and my editor's choice award. Okay, the slash trivia question and challenge is a little bit harder because it's a more rare car. I've never seen one live or in person. But can you identify the year making model of this beautiful car that you see on the screen? If you can, drop your answer in the comments for fun. In just a few moments, we're going to check it and see how everybody did on their answers. Now, the number eight choice that I picked for my favorites for 2023 was a viewer favorite as well. A little bit pricey, but just an absolutely beautiful car. And is one that I'm sure is on everyone's bucket list to hopefully one day own. 1941 Willie's Coupe listed in Gilbert, Arizona for $65,000. This car has only been driven 8,500 miles since it was built. The exterior color is red with flames and the interior color is beige and it has a clean title. Seller's description is a little short and sweet, but here's how it goes. 1941 Willis Coupe with a fuel-injected LT1 350 Corvette engine with automatic transmission. Beautiful fiberglass body, comes with a clear nose bra to protect the paint, has AC and runs excellent. This highly customized paint job on this car has made it win many show awards and is definitely a head turner. $65,000 or best offer, no trades. That's probably one of the best looking 41 Willys I've ever seen. My ninth favorite pick for 2023 showcased cars reminded me so much of model car kits that Tom Daniels designed and I built as a kid that I had to include it as one of my favorites in this top 10 list. 1923 Ford C Cab listed in Melbourne, Florida for $19,000. Now the mileage is unlisted on this car, but it shows that it has an automatic transmission. The exterior color is red, and the interior color is red, and it has a clean title. Seller's description is as follows. 1923 C Cab titled as a 1923 Ford fiberglass body with opening doors. It has a 1967 Chevy 396 engine linked up to a turbo 350 transmission. It has 15 by 15 weld rear wheels, 29 by 18 by 15 Mickey Thompson tires, and 15 by 6 front rocket wheels. Four wheel disc brakes are all new. Wheels and valve covers have been clear ceramic coated, makes cleaning them real easy. Has an old school looking interior, custom pinstriping. It starts, stops, and drives great. $19,000 or best to offer. And guys, I just love this car so much, I'm giving it my Editor's Choice Award. Now before we get to my number 10 favorite pick from 2023 Showcase Cars, what was your favorite car in this video and why? Drop your answer in the comments. I appreciate it. They're always fun to read. And let's go on to number 10. Now, my number 10 favorite car is just so beautiful. I had to showcase it in this video. Now, these cars have unfortunately kind of priced themselves out of the average guy's price range. But this car was just so awesome. I had to let you see it. 1957 Chevy 210 delivery wagon. Listed in Coker, Alabama for $42,500.
Now the mileage is unlisted, but it says it has automatic transmission. The exterior color is black, and the interior color is black. Seller's description is as follows. This beautiful car is an attention getter. Rare double VIN government issued car. Has a 350 engine with a 200R overdrive transmission. Has power steering and power brakes. Has vintage heat and AC. It's been given a two inch drop kit. Has deep gloss black paint really sets this car off. Has vintage Bluetooth radio and lots more. Too much to list. She's a must see. You can get in and drive her anywhere. Serious inquiries only. $42,500. A best offer for this 1957 Chevy 210 sedan delivery wagon. This is most definitely one of my dream cars on my dream car list to own one day. So I give this one my Editor's Choice Award. How well did you do on the trivia questions? Well, let's find out. The American car company that introduced the square steering wheel from 1960 to 1964 was Chrysler. Number two, the car that's pictured with grandma she bought brand new was a 1971 Plymouth GTX. And number three was a little bit hard because it was a rare car, but it was a 1933 Pyrrhus Silver Era sedan. I appreciate each and every one of you sticking in here. And now it's time to announce the American Rod Shop 2024 events that's going to be happening on this channel. It's going to be great. It's going to be a fun 2024. Let's check these out. This channel had a really explosive year in 2023, going from 700 subscribers when we launched in April to knocking on the door of 25,000 subscribers at this video's presentation. Now, guys, when we hit 30,000 subscribers, which I hope will be in the spring of 2024, we are going to be giving away as appreciation back to the viewers and subscribers 30 items that have a total value with shipping and everything of over $1,000. We're going to have a special event that night when we hit 30,000. We're going to give these items away totally free. Won't cost you a penny. All you have to do is enter in when we have that contest. And guys, it's going to be great. And I appreciate Could not have done this without all you viewers. One of our goals in 2024 is to do a weekly live streaming after the show. And we'll probably do that once a week. Uh, maybe Sunday night. I hadn't figured out the night yet. But that's coming out. And on that show, I can answer questions. We can talk about cars. I may even give a few items away. It's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of you guys have said y'all be interested in doing a live streaming after the show. So we're going to take care of that in 20. 24 once a week. We will also be going out and doing some video coverage and gathering content for the channel and classic car shows, swap meets, cruise ins, trade days, things like that that you'll enjoy seeing as well. And we're going to put those in each video as a American Rod Shop special. We're also going to hold monthly live man cave memorabilia auctions. Be once a month, it's going to be featured great items that you can dress up your man cave or your garage with, such as diecast cars, old signs, hot rod magazines, car parts, anything auto related. It's going to be fun. We'll do that once a month. And last but not least, we will be launching an additional YouTube channel in 2024 that I think all you guys are going to find very, very interesting. And we will put it premiering right after the American Rod Shop channel video premieres. They'll be kind of uh, the same genre. I think you guys are going to like it. Just something additional for 2024, but be on the lookout for that. Well, guys and gals, I just want to say Happy New Year to you. May God bless you greatly in 2024. Thank you all for being viewers and subscribers. You just don't know how much I appreciate you guys and gals out there. Thank you so much. 2024 is going to be better. God bless each and every one of you, and I'll see you in 2024.